What's up, YouTube? The Shady Panther back with a video. In today's video is actually another uh, new movie news update video. Again, this isn't going to be that long. This is just kind of give you some like to give you guys an update of what's happening around the you know the movie industry and stuff like that. So it says uh, thousands of Chinese cinemas could close permanently. Uh, industry reports uh, indicates. More than 40% uh, percent of the survey survey Chinese cinemas say they are very likely to close in the near future due to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, related closures, a new study from local film industry associates revealed that movie theaters have remained dark in China longer than any other country. Oh yeah, I forgot because they shut down in like January. January since January 23rd, a long day may reopen soon. The move may come too late for as many uh, prosper a uh, bank bankruptcy loans the film the china film association china film distribution uh conducted a survey of 187 theaters at the end of april with participating of 20 major uh chains including wanha henan all these other places right 42 percent of the uh uh Afric, uh, uh cinemas believe they are very likely to close in the near future just 10 10 percent they would undergo changes in the uh, ownership that but continue to operate while Tony is saying they are still waiting for further details from the cinema, uh, central management of their fate at the end of 2019 China had 16,000 cinemas in operation of course uh, they were looking at 12,400 uh, cinema plex a 40% closure do uh, mean the loss of 5,000 venues 27,000 and again it just keeps on going you like the exact numbers and stuff like that I'm just going to give you my quick thoughts about it. Again, it's, you know, it's really, really sad and everything like that. But also, it does show you that Hollywood, again, it's every business is getting affected because of the coronavirus, not just Hollywood and stuff like that. But with Hollywood, again, I'm telling you right now, and I said this before, a lot of their movies are going to have to drop on VOD or iTunes and stuff like that because the longer you drag this out, the less money people are going to have to spend. So I feel like, you know, when it comes to these big blockbuster movies, you know, a lot of the Hollywood people, I think they're going to start changing, man. They, they got to stop acting like assholes, you feel me? You can't freaking drop Imagine when people lost their freaking jobs in California and expect everything to go well. And then you have something like the riots, what's happening right now with the George Floyd situation and stuff like that, and it completely destroyed Beverly Hills, you guys are surprised by that. And also, it doesn't help when you are doing these Instagram Imagine type things and you're doing the Madonna bath stuff. Again, when they start initiating, pretty much you keep poking at the bear over and over and over. This is what happens, you feel me? They start destroying your freaking uh, city and your entire neighborhood because you keep per um, poke it at the bear and pretty much keep taunting them, you feel me? And you keep taunting the people at the bottom, they're going to rise up and destroy everything at the top. So that's another thing as well. But also I think from a Hollywood business point of view, I think they're going to be very different. I think the world's going to be different. Uh, economically, I think Hollywood's going to have to really start thinking about not pandering to China as much because um, their movie theater is going to get shut down. America's movie theater is going to get shut down. The international movie theater is going to have to get shut down. So you guys have to create your own streaming services, create your own platform to generate revenue and income for people to uh, buy your particular um your product and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Again, I do feel like people at the top are going to have to start acting differently and you'll have to start preparing for the future. And I do think, you know, with all the SJW woke stuff, whatever, you guys have to cut that crap out because you have to really do stuff that actually makes you money and stop doing this Me Too movement, you know, SJW, Birds of Prey, Terminators, uh, Dark Fate, stuff like that. You guys have to stop that crap. Charlie's Angels, you got to stop that crap. You got to start making, doing stuff that appeals to your audience, your demographic, and not pandering to a bunch of people who may or may not care. You got to start appealing to the people that you know they will be satisfied and give you the money for your product. And also, you have to understand that it's survival of the fittest at this point. You feel me? We don't know what's going to happen after this whole entire situation that's happening. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Tell me what you guys think about this whole China news uh, getting shut, 40% of them getting shut down. Um, how do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.